Hello you what's his face, it's Tygon here and today I'm going to give you the best four finger claw HUD layout for Call of Duty Mobile Season 9. But not only that, I'm going to give you guys two options and today I'm joined by my friend Lurks on Mobile. So actually go check out his channel, it's really cool, I'll have a link to it and I'll have like a pinned comment and in the description. So check that out. And also this is going to be like almost a hand cam type montage thing as well. So if you want to get directly to the hand cam, there will be a timestamp that you can use to go ahead and skip to it. But that's pretty much it. This is the intro. So hope you guys enjoy. I really do hope you guys watch the entire thing because I think it looks pretty cool. But other than that, we're going to get into it. And then I guess you guys will see the best claw hand cam for Call of Duty Mobile Season 9. God dang it. Peace out. So first off, I have this calling card thing you, blanked out. You don't need it. In fact, I think it blocks your view and it's just an unnecessary thing. You can easily see what's happening and going on in the game. In fact, it also is worse in my opinion because it takes up the entire field of view for whatever is happening in the game. So if you don't know who's getting killed, I really don't like this. So I'm making it invisible. Uh, right here is the ping system. So you can just take your thumb and then go ahead and ping something. Or you can take your index finger, bring it down and ping. But you can put it anywhere from here or there, right? Right here we have the grenade and then we have the jump and these prone buttons now i actually recommend having the jump button like right here and a bit smaller however i for the gameplay i didn't make it put it up there because that's similar to my eight finger claw hud but essentially i would put the jump button like a little bit bigger right next to the scope button and then for this you can make this a little bit smaller once again i had it this big just to make it resemble my eight finger one so i can get better gameplay for you guys but essentially this is how it kind of would look right now if you do feel comfortable over here because i actually like stuff over here but if you do feel comfortable over here by all means do that but i feel like 
right here will be better for most people then we have the i would say the weapons right i usually have the opacity like kind of low but just big enough so i can see how many bullets i have and you can easily switch your weapons and you only need to tap one of them to switch it but this way you can see both so if I, my fingers right here on the scope i will just go ahead and tap that one and then when we're over here we have our map right there we have our operator skill right there so we can easily tap it from wherever our bullet is so like our shoot button and then we actually have two shoot buttons here and we have a knife button so let's get into this so this knife button right here is just so whenever someone comes up we can go and knife them but the do shoot buttons uh, a lot of people use the ads button the button that automatically scopes in and start shooting for you so i actually have both of these included so if you want right you can go over here and use this one which only hit fires and then you have your finger just to easily hit that but let's say you are in a very sticky situation or you want to go ahead and do some jump shots so you can essentially go over here jump or jump and then you can hit that button to jump shot and then you easily ads or you can use this button right here you can prone and then you can use this button to easily ads and if you're a person that doesn't use this button at all you can essentially go into your settings and make sure make it literally just like the other one and on top of that you don't even have to do that because if you hit the scope button first and then you hit that it's just going to perform like a regular bullet button now the next thing is we have a reload right here in the top corner i don't have anything on the bottom because you want when you're playing four finger claw you want everything to go to aim that is what you need to have you have to have superior aim right and that is why i like having all of this pretty much clear now let's move this back up because that's where the knife button is going to be and then right here you can literally tap and slide and so you can easily just take your finger put it right there and hit that button now the next thing i have is i have both of the nate buttons many people don't use these but these are really useful you can throw back a nate and cancel them and then right here i've all lined up all of my utilities such as you know emotes talking and then your settings and i feel like that's pretty good for that and we have the ladder down here because it's not like you're always going to use it but when you do you can easily tap it i mean if you want you can always put the ladder somewhere like maybe up here because let's say you're trying to get up and you can just easily tap that but this is pretty much my HUD. Lastly, although I did forget, I have my score streaks down here because I feel like it's easier to tap. And I always make this invisible. You don't really need to see your health at all, in my opinion, because you it tells you how much just from how much your screen is red and whenever this is activated it'll start glowing so you can easily see that and then your bottom won't be overtaken by that and on top of that this right here well not that but this you can just easily tap it and pick up another weapon but this is my four finger club layout hope you guys enjoy now we're gonna go over and get to lurks but that's pretty much it so leave a like subscribe and also go subscribe to his channel it's really amazing but i will catch you guys in the next one Yo, what's going on guys? Hope everyone's doing great. This is Lurks on Mobile, and we're going to be going over my four finger claw HUD layout. At the top right of our screen, we have our dedicated ADS button. Right next to our ADS button, we have our jump button. Right below both of those buttons, we have our prone button. And wrapped around those three buttons, we have our reload button, our equipment button, and our operator scope. At the top left of the screen, we do have our swap button. We have our dedicated hip fire button to the left of that one. And then right below that, we have our slide button. I think it is very good to have your HUD layout set up like this because you have a lot of combos. You aim with the right side and you shoot with your left side. You slide with the left side and you jump with the right side as well as prone. It just gives multiple fingers multiple jobs. And I think it is the most effective way to play Call of Duty Mobile, especially if you are playing four fingers. Other than that, I would like to give a big thank you to Tygon for letting me be a part of this video. And we're going to be jumping straight into the match.